from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Good Friday to you. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up. But first, here's a look at your ABC Action News headlines. We start with the January jobs report. It just came out this morning and it is much better than expected. The U.S. economy added 467,000 jobs in January. That is far better than 150,000 new jobs predicted by Wall Street. Hiring was also much stronger at the end of 2021 than originally reported. The unemployment rate did rise 1.1 percent. Uh, rather, the Biden administration has had been bracing for much worse numbers. The Secretary of Commerce spoke before the numbers were released, reminding everyone that they're just a glimpse of the economy. As the CDC reports a drop in hospitalizations across the country, some Florida hospitals say they are seeing an increase in patients. Lee Health says their beds are over capacity and 93% of ICU beds are being used as well. In Hillsborough County, more than 82% of all hospital beds are full. That's part of the reason for changes to the visitation policy at Tampa General Hospital. The hospital announced yesterday that anyone under the age of 19 is not allowed in the hospital unless given permission from the nursing unit in very rare circumstances. Also, visitors cannot leave and return to the hospital in the same day. And visitation to COVID-19 patients who are in isolation is not allowed at all. Millions of Medicare recipients will be able to get free over-the-counter COVID-19 rapid tests starting this spring. Last month, the White House laid out plans that would require private insurance companies to cover the cost of these at-home tests. But this did not apply to Medicare recipients. Now that is going to change. Once the changes take effect, Medicare will cover the cost of eight over-the-counter tests every month. Tampa City Council changed course on an already passed noise ordinance for Ebor and the area around Amelie Arena. City Council had passed an ordinance that would have forced businesses to reduce noise levels in those areas after 1 a.m. last month. But yesterday, City Council members voted to start the repeal process on it. Originally, they had planned to enforce it in six months after making adjustments to better serve local businesses. But now it appears they're stopping it altogether. They say, however, they could bring it back in the future. The city will still hold community engagement meetings on this as the repeal process continues. Amazon's profits nearly doubled in the final quarter of 2021, but they are still planning on charging you more. The retail giant will raise its fee for Prime membership in the U.S. this month for new customers. The increase starts next month for current customers. There will be a $20 hike for an annual membership and $2 more for those paying the monthly membership. Amazon says this is due to rising labor and transportation costs and to pay for expanded membership benefits like more prime video content and expanded same day shipping. Amazon shares spiked almost 17% in aftermarket trading following that announcement. Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete is preparing to open its second location. The new tap room will be on Clearwater Beach right near Pier 60. It will have views of the pier and the intercoastal. The mirror maker says the new tasting room has been in the works since before the pandemic began, and it's excited to finally make this a reality. After so much uncertainty, Clearwater Beach location is already looking to hire bartenders and wait staff. Let's check in with meteorologist Greg D. Perfect place to go out there, Clearwater Beach today. Temperatures a little cooler than places away from the water. Tampa in the low 80s, Clearwater likely in the low to mid 70s. The beach definitely in the low 70s, falling into the 60s with the sea breeze kicking up later in the afternoon. Temperatures this evening falling into the 70s. We are going to see rain chances increasing after 10 o'clock tonight. That's a cold front that will bring clouds and showers, not just tomorrow, but also into Sunday. Saturday's high of 68. That's being optimistic. Many of you may stay in the low 60s and upper 50s. A much chillier weekend ahead. Updates on that weekend temperature and the rain always posted on my Twitter feed at Greg D Weather. Vanessa. Greg, thank you. Remember, you can always get your news 24 hours a day on ABC Action News Plus. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Apple TV. Have a great day.